What's up everybody, it's Gone Turbo here. This is Skyrim Special Edition on Xbox One. And in today's video, I am back doing a Let's Play. It's been a while since I've had really a good opportunity to have some fun in uh, in Skyrim, just playing the game with you guys. Um, in today's video, I wanted to uh, talk about a couple of things um, regarding the game, talk about a couple of things regarding me, uh, talk about this character, talk about this load order, um, talk about some of the comments that, uh, or, you know, questions a lot of you have had um, more recently, but kind of overall, and uh, just have some fun. Um, it's been a while since we've just played Skyrim and, and, and had some fun, so hopefully you'll find this video informational, entertaining, and um, just, uh, just a good romp through, <laughs> through Skyrim as always. So, First of all, I just, I had to share with you guys this new character. Um, this is, this is Graymick. And uh, he's actually wearing a helmet that I don't want him to be wearing. <laughs> um, this character is a new character that is a fresh start to this, this load order. This June 2019 load order that I posted recently. Uh, he is a fresh character with this load order, and with a fresh start to a load order or you know character, um, I found that everything works as it's supposed to when you start a new game. And that's pretty much what a lot of folks suggest to make things work. Um, mod authors will say that for something to work, sometimes you have to start a new a new a new character, a new a new game. Um, and I found that with some of my older characters. Uh, oh, I'm not going to exit out of this, but some of my some of my older characters, although some mods will will render or exist when you look, put them into a load order, um, an existing save, uh, they don't all always work. So um, some of the some of the mods that um, I've changed over the uh, you know more recently, like. The, the the armor and clothing overhaul doesn't seem to work as it should with older saves that I have. So um, some of the some of the guard armors aren't aren't you know showing up with with older saves. So so this character is meant to kind of show off a fresh start to the load order, but also the fact that I've never really played a a magical, fully magical based character. So Gramic is a wizard, and uh, I've actually created a backstory for this guy, which I usually don't. But I thought, you know, yeah, well, let's let's have a little fun. So Gramic has had a kind of a, a rough a rough life, as you can see. My guy here, um, he's whoops, he's a, he's an older gentleman. He's an imperial by race, but he holds no allegiance to, to any race. Uh, he's kind of his own thing. Um, he's, uh, he's worn and he's weathered. <laughs> um, and he's also, he's also blind. I'll talk about that in just a second. But the backstory for my character, Graymek, is that, uh, uh, he's had, he's had a life of, he's had a rough, a rough life. Um, wandering around Tamriel, exploring different all the different provinces and learning magic along the way. Um, he has come he has he has come to Skyrim, he has wandered into Skyrim uh, for the first time, um, again holding no allegiance, but wanting to learn the mysteries of magic in this land. So my goal, or his goal, <laughs> is to uh, unlock the magical mysteries of, of Skyrim and uh, really get into um, as much magic as, as, Skyrim, as Skyrim offers. Uh, yes, he is blind, and that has to do with a, 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 an experience in his life that was magic in, in nature that, that uh, uh, caused him, him to go blind. Um, but he can he can see through his magical senses. How's that? <laughs> so he 
So I don't have yet details for the the entire life of, of my character here or the details of how exactly he became blind, but I thought it'd make for a good, you know, kind of a good uh good backstory. So we're gonna we're gonna use this guy. I've I've again I've never um I've never used a fully magical, you know, wizard kind of character in any Elder Scrolls games. Morrowind, Oblivion, and, and Skyrim. And, you know, I remember um, Skyrim being praised for having a more balanced and better magical system, um, combat system, especially. And, uh, um, I guess that was, you know, some of the criticisms of some, some of the older games is that if you wanted to be a, a wizard or, or, a, or a magician or a magical-based character, uh, in some of the older games it was, it was more difficult, um, especially to, like, you know, battle and, and... which is such a big part of these, these Elder Scrolls games. But, um, so for the first time, I'm, I'm uh, heading forth with, with this character. Now, I would say he's, like, 90%, 95% magic and 10 5 to 10 percent uh weapons based his magic training is more um is somewhat formal as he has traveled through tamriel he has learned a lot but his combat is more based on necessity through tough times in his in his in his life so that's kind of the deal with with Grey Mech here. Um, we are outside of Whiterun, and uh, one mod that I have, that I haven't shared specifically or done any showcase on, is a mod that places these uh, uh, places to these, these shelters throughout, throughout Skyrim. Um, you come across these shelters kind of randomly throughout the game with this particular mod, and I'm trying to remember the name of it. Um, it's in the description. But uh, it allows you to sleep, obviously, and um, take shelter. I have campfire and frostfall in my load order. However, I'm not currently. It's not currently active, so I'm not currently playing it. But uh, outside White Run, you can have a place to, to sleep, um, if you want. So we're gonna. We're gonna get through the, um, the night here so we can get into the morning and I can return the Golden Claw to uh, the shop in Riverwood. I think this character is still only like level 4. Just finished um, the Fall Barrows not too long ago. And it's raining. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Love the thunder and lightning. So, a few things about my, um, just kind of, this channel, um, some things that have been going on with me personally. I, some of you have asked, like, why, why haven't I been posting videos lately? And it's, it's really just more of a matter of, of time and availability to do so without you know, without distraction. Um, uh, obviously, I work and have a job that is um, pretty demanding, and I wish I could do this full time and make an income <laughs> that is higher than what I currently, you know, do it with with my job. But uh, that's obviously priority. You know, roof over your head, food in your on your table, kind of thing. Um, so having the having my priorities uh, sometimes shift. Um, it can cause me to to bang out videos every once in a while and sometimes not. So all is well, all is great in life, um, but my ability to do this without distraction is sometimes kind of ebbs and flows. So um, I'm not going anywhere and uh, I'm hoping to, to, to do some new things with this channel that I don't want to share anything yet with you, but um, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. So some of you have asked me questions regarding this game, this load order, my Xbox, and I want to be able to kind of, kind of, I guess, set the record straight on a few things. 
I'm playing on the original Xbox One, not the S, not the X. Original S, original S, <laughs> Xbox One. Um, a lot of you ask, do I get crashes with this load order? I definitely get frame rate drops. I mean, you can see right now the frame rate is pretty bad at the moment going through Riverwood here. Um, obviously, there's certain places where the frame rate drops and other places where uh, um, things work well. I typically, I typically don't get crashes. Now, some of you have commented that this crashes all the time. I get crashes in in can't even go to White Run without it crashing. Um, I just don't. I don't experience that. I don't, I don't, I, and I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I only crash when I switch in and out of mods and don't do a hard reset. So if I, you know, try out a different lighting mod or, I don't know, a different texture mod that might come out, um, sometimes I'll just switch it out in the load order and just exit, start up my... A, a save and it and it'll crash but if I hard reset then I'll get it to to work in the load order um, or in the game um, I can't say I've never crashed but it's just so rare that that I crash I sometimes have uh, fast travel crashes um, the most experience I've had or the, the, the biggest issue I've had is with uh, uh, Verdant and yeah I think Verdant was the mod that uh, whenever I fast traveled um, I, w I, I would crash um, but I just don't get like these random crashes where I'm entering places and, and crashing so I don't know what to tell you guys with some of you that have said like I'm done I can't do this this is insane I'm crashing all the time <laughs> I, I, I don't know um, but that's kind of that's kind of the deal. I don't know. I'm just maybe it's because I'm on the original Riverwood Xbox. Trader is everything you need in a general store. I thought I got to return the clock. I better get back to cleaning the store. What a mess. <laughs> Let's see. Let me go to my quests here. I can't return the clock to this guy. My sister Camilla or I will be happy to help. Oh. Uh, yeah. We did have a bit of a, an ornament, solid ornament. gold. In the shape of I mean, this golden. You there you go. It. <laughs> there it is. Here Strange. I'm talking about crashes and issues and. Smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? So. I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll put it back where it belongs, right in the desk, it. right in the table. A great thing for me and put it right there. I put it right there. The, oh, there you go. The golden claw, for all to see. I can steal it back. Um, the other shoe I have, I think this is a common thing, but with a new save and this load order maybe, uh, going into solitude, when you enter solitude and you witness the, um, execution, immediately everybody starts attacking you. What I've done is I walk into the gates, um, you know, the execution scene is starting to happen. I go into the, the tavern, the winking skeever, and, uh, uh, when I exit, I, everything's fine, so that's my way around um, that glitch, I guess. So, um, yeah, so with this character, I want to get into doing some magic. Check quick some of my, my game settings here. To the day I was playing with, and it's on. Yeah, yeah. The day I was playing with, uh, um, <laughs> Cathedral Concepts Weathers and Seasons. If you're looking for something like Obsidian Weathers and Seasons, then try. Cathedral Concepts um, has some very beautiful moments, some very nice weathers. Um, overall, I still like Obsidian better, but uh, the uh, the sunrises and sunsets with Cathedral weathers and lighting is 
just unmatchable. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Pardon the background noise that you might hear around in my hizzle, fizzizzle. What do you got to say? Are you a fellow wizard with your robe on your courier? Important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. Well, then why are you standing around there, douche? Gadoosh. Don't stand there. Are you taking a rest? Skyrim Federal Regulation states two 15-minute breaks and a half-hour lunch. So I hope you're on your 9 a.m. coffee break. That's what it is. 9 a.m. coffee break. That's what it is. All right. I believe there's some skeletons up here. What am I saying? I know there's some skeletons up here. Uh, let's take these guys out. You can see some frame rate drops here. Going on pretty bad. And the grass isn't rendering. There we go. We have the conjure. Conjure familiar staff. There's usually a spider around here too. There he is. Coming after me or the fox. I cooked your bones. I cooked your bones. Mm -hmm. Just the one. I just wonder what this is. It's kind of like just a thing. Let's find this uh, spider. Where are you? Usually there's a spider hanging around over here. Right over here. Oh, oh, oh. Well, why not? Cook up some wolf. Hmm. Oh well, maybe no spider. It's my fox impression in this game. <laughs> now there's no one there around. It's gonna get to work. Where are you, Fox? He's gone. Here we go. He's stealthy, little Fox. He's stealthy. Hmm. Hmm. The thing I was gonna mention about um, about this character. Now the fox is gone. Is uh, and I guess it's just it's just having to do with with Skyrim and maybe why I love this game so much. Maybe you do too. It's just the 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 open world freedom and choice that this game allows. Uh, and I was immediately hooked when back in the day with the original Xbox um, and getting Morrowind at the time I was like this new console by Microsoft um, has the power to create these beautiful open worlds um, and I searched for something that was fantasy based that, uh, allowed for that. Um, having not played any of the Elder Scrolls games on PC, um, really nothing like any of the Elder Scrolls games, uh, before Morrowind, um, when I got Morrowind, I was just like, I mean, it was just hours of obsession in front of the TV playing Morrowind. <laughs> and I remember the manual 
Um, I, 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 I had read reviews on it, and, and you know, I, I had researched it um, before I purchased it. I remember driving home from the mall and uh, reading the, the instruction booklet. You know, back then when games had instruction booklets that were <laughs> informational. Um, this one was full color. I don't know, it was like 50, 70 some odd pages. And the, uh, the, the introduction um, by Bethesda talked about their goal, their mission, their, their vision for games to be open world and to allow a freedom of choice un, un, unlike any other game. And they, you know, they specifically referenced if you want to be a armor wearing wizard, you can do that. If you want to be a, a, a thief, a, an archer, a warrior, you can do that. And most of my characters, uh, I've always kind of been, you know, knight warrior type. Um, but I remember reading that and thinking, wow, like that's exactly what I hope. All right, so sure enough, after all that, <laughs> I had to pause the game. Um, distraction, sure enough. Like I said, it happens. So at least I was able to talk about what I wanted to talk about and uh, didn't want to go back and redo this with this uh, sudden um, need to stop the game. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Stick around. This has been Gone Turbo. I'll see you again. I'll talk to you again soon.